I discovered a new blending trick because of a mistake I made and it's basically the easiest and best thing ever. Like I don't know why I haven't seen everybody doing this before. I really hope you're going to be blown away by this because I'm still kind of blown away. So this is my hand lettering journal. I've shared about it a few times before. I've been using my Studler Tri Plus highlighters in it. That's the only pen that I've used in the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to share more about this journal, but let's get into the story. This is what happened. So I was adding shadows to this quote and you know, when you get in the flow, you kind of stop thinking for a minute. So I accidentally did a blue shadow on two words. It was supposed to be purple. So I thought, ah, uh, oh, well, not a big deal. I'll just go on top of it with the purple to fix it. When I did that, it made a really pretty color that I hadn't seen before with these markers. This got me curious if it could actually be a thing. So I did a test with more colors and I just drew the lines and went over it with another color. And I experimented with alternating colors and I was like, um, wow, what is happening? This is incredibly simple and amazing. How have I never done this before? All of a sudden I could have 12 colors with just my six colors of markers. And I started using this in every design that I was making. And I found the most simple, easy way to do it is to just go in rainbow order. So I just started with two rows of pink and then I did the orange on top of the pink. And then I did technically three rows of the orange because the one on top of the pink. So basically I was doing three lines with each color so that they would be on top of the color before them, have their own line, just the color and then be the underneath color for the next color and it really created the most perfect ombre rainbow blend okay listen to this for a second Wasn't that really satisfying for some reason? So I'm really excited about this, right? With these specific markers, it looks so cool. works really well. Magic. But now I'm thinking, okay, this is cool. Does it work with other markers? Let me show you what I found out. To recap, all I'm doing is layering one color on top of another color. It's so simple. The first markers that I tried are my Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. I really like these and I found that it really works with these. And I was thinking maybe the reason why is because they're kind of transparent a little bit. Like maybe that's what it needs to be able to do this trick. I mean, oh, look at those colors. So next I decided to try my Crayola markers because I thought these ones are not very transparent. Let's see if these work too. And as you can see, it did actually work. Not all the colors worked very well. So like the yellow doesn't really look great on the orange. I think the lighter color doesn't do as well on a darker color. But now let's move on to the next one, Stabilo brush pens. And with these ones, they're not as transparent as the Zebra Mild Liners. And they actually did work once again, but not every color like the Crayola. So I'm wondering if that's just how it is when the ink is too dark. So next I'm going to do my Pentel Touch brush pens. I love these pens and I was really excited that it actually does work. Once again, the yellow doesn't work on top of the orange, but the other colors all worked really well. I can definitely see myself using this method with these pens. And next is the Kirataki Zig Fudbiori. I also really love these ones and I found pretty much the same thing. These all work except for the yellow doesn't work on the orange. The yellow of the Stabilo did work on the orange, but all the rest of them haven't. And next is Faber-Castell. These pens I haven't used in a while and so they seemed like they were kind of dry, like they just needed to be used a little bit. And these ones are not water-based, they're waterproof, so I normally have a harder time blending with them. But this actually worked. I mean, besides the yellow, the rest of them actually look really cool. So here's all of them together. This paper I used is HP Premium 32 paper. You can use it on any paper because in my journal, that's like 
nothing special paper. I still think the Stedler Tri Plus highlighters work the best with this, but these other brush pens looked really cool also. You'll have to try it with the brush pens you have and see if it works. Going back to my journal, there are a couple quotes that I wanted to show you. So this one, perfection has one grave defect. It is apt to be dull. And I just thought it was so perfect with this idea of making mistakes. And then this one as well, when you're being creative, there's no such thing as a mistake. As a recovering perfectionist, I love that lettering, especially in this journal, has helped remind me to lean into the imperfections. And just so you know, I am almost done with this hand lettering journal, and then I'm going to share with you the full flip through. I can't wait to share more about it with you. I think you're going to want to start your own hand lettering journal. And to finish up, let's hear some satisfying pen clicking. <laughs> 